The future of job is already upon us and it is clearly defined by technology. This implies that the work or jobs of the future belong to those who can maximize and explore modern technologies to their advantage. By the year 2025, which is just about five years from now, a lot of jobs could have been taken over by technology because the rapid transformation experience in the world in the last 50 years is six times more than that experience in the thousand of years of world existence. This means that there are bound to be job losses. But the good news is that there could be so much more jobs but only for those who are prepared for it. We are already in the fourth industrial revolution which means that we have had three previous revolutions and they are the mechanized or agricultural revolution, the electrical or mass production revolution, the internet or jet age revolution, and here are we in the digital revolution. The digital revolution is characterized and dominated by robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, virtual reality, augmented reality, etc. These technologies are already prepared to take away jobs and replace them. For instance, robotics could take care of administrative paperwork, clearing, investments for financial analysis, etc. Artificial intelligence AI could take care of voice recognition, cyber security, biometrics, etc. Machine learning on the other side could efficiently handle data science, predictive analysis, etc. Larry Page, one of the founders of Google, said that AI is the future of Google search engine, meaning that Google search engine could simply be taken over by artificial intelligence. Some of these technologies are already on us. We have seen the drive through mall in Saudi Arabia, the Uber Air Taxi, Paper Robot by Standing RPTC Bank, Alexa on Amazon that has over 3,500 skills and growing, driverless taxi, robotic waiters, IBTC Sami on Facebook that can help you open your account without battling an eyelid, and a whole lot more. They are already in use. Globalization could be really diverse and interesting because we could witness a great rise in freelancing, outsourcing, e-commerce, teleconferencing, etc. We could also experience an increase in demography and a change in it as well. The population of the world by 2050 is expected to hit a whooping 9 billion people. Research has it that those born in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s known as baby boomers does not have the kind of immunity and life expectancy like those born in the late 80s, 90s and the millennium children. While life stops and slopes downward for the baby boomers generation who by 60 could have to retire. For the millennial children, life just begins for them at 60 because their life expectancy is placed at 100. It could be so because the world is working towards low carbon emission as well as a green economy. These millennial children also have the capacity to redefine things in their own way, not to be constricted within the four walls of either classroom or that of an office. It is very important to say that young people need skills and experience for the future and not for the past. Jobs are becoming 70% automation. Entry-level jobs are disappearing. One fact that is worrisome is that 60% of students are still being trained in courses that will be radically changed by automation later by 2025. By the year 2025, research has it that people could prefer to work from home and not from the office to avoid hassles, wear and tear. It means there could be flexible work schedule for plenty employees as well as several freelancers who have gotten the skills and needed experience. Already jobs are falling away and are in extinctions. This is a result of innovation, disruptions and productivity. As young Africans, we must become ambidextrous. We must be able to do more than one thing. We must be hungry for much. Don't just stay put with that old-fashioned sentence, I'm a medical doctor or I'm a lawyer. What else can you do? We must have double-digit skills. We must evaluate ourselves. 
We must not have less than 10 skills minimum because enterprise skills are the work of the future. Where are jobs going to be? You may ask. This should guide the courses we could take in the higher institution. If you are a graduate, go back to school either online or on-site and hone your skills. Jobs could be in the following sectors and in this order. Media, entertainment and information, consumer focus, healthcare, energy, professional services, information communication technology, mobility, basic and infrastructure, financial services and investors. It could be an aberration and self-injustice for a child to go and study psychology, philosophy, history, banking and finance, business administration, etc. Why? Because these courses are already saturated in the market. Hence, employers are looking for something new. Courses like actuarial science, deep learning, neural networks, etc. By the year 2025, creativity skills could be 260% demanded, presentation skills could be just 110% demanded, while digital literacy skills could be 680% demanded. Therefore, you need to learn new things, learn second languages like French, Spanish, German, Mandarin, etc. Do take note that 70% of the jobs of the future could be enterprise skills. Finally, look for skills that could make people keep knocking on your door and not something everybody is doing. Don't learn from the past, rather learn from the future. Take actions now. So that wraps up this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. I personally would love every young African to watch this clip. Do well to share this video on your different social media platforms. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Catch you next week with a brand new video. Peace. I'm out.